Center in EHT is where everyone's lawn and garden should begin. Family owned and operated since 1964. Stop in and see what we have to offer. Visit bobsgardencenter.com or follow us on Facebook. Happy Friday, everyone. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. It is a beautiful but hot and humid day out there. We're looking out towards Margate and you can see all of the sunshine. A lot of people in the water doing their best to try and stay cool. The beach is also packed. We have not really much room out there. A lot of people between the umbrellas and everything. It just looks like a bit of a madhouse. Here's a look at our current temperatures. No wonder everyone's heading down the shore. It is in the 90s just about everywhere, even down the shore kind of on the warmer side. Check out 81 for Cape May, Atlantic City 83 degrees, Tuckerton 89. So everyone is dealing with the sort of intense heat that has rolled into our area. Also helping to make things feel a little bit more uncomfortable. The dew points mid to upper 70s for a number of spots. 77 for Marlton, 74 for Hamilton, Vineland 76. Even down the shore you are feeling very muggy out there. 75 for Cape May, Atlantic City 76 degrees for their dew points. You put those together and we are seeing multiple spots with heat index values above 100 degrees. It feels like 106 for Media, Marlton and Glassboro. It feels like 105 for Vineland right now. Even right along the water, Cape May feels like 87. So that's one of the sweet spots. But Atlantic City, meanwhile, feels like 91 while they are in the 80s. So plenty hot out there. With the high uh, heat index that we're seeing right now, uh, we have a heat advisory. This goes until, originally was for tonight. It goes all the way through till tomorrow night now, until about 8 p.m. on Saturday. You can see it's excluding some of our more southern counties. Our Cape May, Atlantic, and Cumberland County friends are excluded in that heat advisory, but it still feels plenty warm. It's really the further north and west that you travel and down through Delaware that you're running into the more intense heat. So do, make sure you're doing your best to try and stay cool as we'll continue to stay pretty swampy for the next couple of days. You can see the dew point staying in the mid to upper 70s for tomorrow. Tiny little bit of relief on the way for the end of the weekend and maybe next week, but really nothing compared to as comfortable as we were kind of earlier this week. Think back to Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. It felt beautiful out there. We're not seeing anything like that anytime soon. We're going to see the dew point stay elevated, but we're also staying warm, staying above 90 degrees all the way through till midweek. And then it's not until the end of next week that we see those temperatures kind of settle back closer to normal. Now, tomorrow is going to be one of the hotter days with the heat index very similar to today. But even those few degrees of dew points falling for Sunday and Monday do allow for some slightly cooler temperatures. Still be feeling like the 90s, still extremely hot and humid, but it's at least a baby step closer to something that's a little bit more comfortable. We are mostly dry out there right now, but we are going to see another chance for some scattered showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms for later on this evening. Now it doesn't look very good. And in fact, most spots will be staying dry. But if you do see one of those showers pop up, you'll definitely notice it. We're going to be seeing some pretty intense rainmakers on the way for the next couple of days. Saturday, we see our cold front moving towards us. That could cause some showers and thunderstorms. But again, that's very late, almost into the overnight hours. So really all day uh, Saturday does look dry as well as your Sunday. Not too bad. Some of the models are hinting at something moving in Sunday night, but I'm really not buying it. I think that high pressure will be uh, the dominant feature and help to keep us dry. So your Sunday only about a 10% chance for rain, maybe a couple of showers on the way for Tuesday and Saturday really late into the overnight hours, almost Sunday morning is where we're seeing the rain moving in. I wanted to talk about the intensity of the rain that we will possibly be seeing. So here's the setup. I want to set this into motion. Don't get too hung up on the rain amounts or the exact locations of the more intense rain. Really what I want to focus on is the overall pattern where you can see some spots get closer to an inch or two of rain, but then just a few miles away, there could be next to nothing. That's what we're going to be dealing with. Any of the showers that do pop up later this evening or for your Saturday night, it's going to be extremely isolated. But if you do see one of those showers move through, you can be seeing a quick one to two inches of rain fall over a very short period of time. It's a feast or famine 
kind of situation. So most spots are not going to be seeing any rain at all, but if you're one of the lucky few that do see rain, it's going to be a downpour. There's so much moisture in the atmosphere right now that those showers are going to be intense and drop a whole lot of rain over a very short period of time. So that's kind of what we're looking at overall. Looking at your forecast for down the shore this weekend and into the start of next week, really, really nice out there. Again, Sunday and Monday, a little bit nicer than what we saw today and what we will be seeing for tomorrow. The chance for showers and thunderstorms, it's not until very late in the evening. And even then, a lot of the activity will be staying pretty far to the west, not necessarily reaching the coastline. So you should be good to go if you want to head down the shore over the next couple of days. Let's check in on Hurricane Barrel. It has made another landfall right near Cancun, Mexico, actually. A lot of flooding and pretty significant impacts with this system. It's down to tropical storm status and is expected to pop out back into the Gulf of Mexico before it heads up towards Texas. Now, here's one of the big changes that we've noticed. The landfall itself for overnight last night was a lot further to the north. We were expecting it to be a little bit further to the south where we have a little bit more terrain and where we will see uh, where we could have seen the system stay over land for just slightly longer period of time. Instead, it moved a little bit further to the north. And what that means is it had less terrain to traverse and it's going to pop out over the warm Gulf of Mexico, possibly a little bit sooner. That means that we could be seeing barrel organize a little bit earlier and possibly even a little bit stronger. So right now we're still going with that category one strength by Monday morning before it makes landfall on, on the Texas coastline but we could be seeing it maybe back up to category two status. A lot of really high wave heights. Earlier this morning, we had 11 foot waves on this, uh, on this eastern coast of Mexico down by Cancun. You can see the wave heights now starting to extend on that northern end back towards Merida uh, on the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. We're gonna see pretty similar wave heights as that system gets pretty close to the Texas coastline. This is a look at the probability for tropical storm winds. You can see that pretty much a very big chunk of the Texas coastline, probably from Corpus Christi and Brownsville, almost back up. I think Houston's right about there, but the majority of that deep south Texas coastline is gonna be seeing a pretty good chance of tropical storm, if not hurricane strength wind speeds. Uh, so not only is flooding gonna be an issue, but also damage due to wind is going to be an issue for portions of Texas next week. Seven day forecast here back home. Again, just staying very hot and humid, even when those temperatures start to fall a little bit back into the low 90s and into the 80s, it's still going to be very humid. So we will still be feeling a bit uncomfortable out there. And with all of the moisture and the heat, we're just going to be seeing more chances for scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll check back in with you later on this evening.